Hello everyone, this is Ronnie Wink. Thanks for watching Inspiring the Love of Writing, Ideas for the Primary Grades. Today we will be discussing ideas to engage our young writers with the mindset that children can be motivated to love writing. I'm going to say something that some teachers may disagree with on the surface. Children love to write. There have been many times in my teaching career that I may have disagreed with that statement. I had students who would groan when I said we are starting writing, other students who would just write as little as they possibly could, or some who would just plain out refuse to write. But since most of my time in the classroom was spent in the primary grades, more often than not, students would say to me, I can't write. But think about the youngest of children. They love to pick up pencils, markers, crayons. They love to use sidewalk chalk. They love to paint. Once they learn how to draw hearts or stars, they draw them everywhere. They're learning to communicate in a written form, and they love it. But somewhere along the way, as writing is introduced as a subject matter, many children develop what we can think of as writer's block. I'm hoping to give you some ideas today to break through that writer's block so students can rediscover their love of writing. The idea I'm proposing is choice. Choice is a wonderful thing. Kids love to make choices. Let's be honest, so do adults. Kids are not always able to make too many choices during their day. For instance, they're told when they start school, they're told when it's time for math, or when they can or cannot read. They're even told when they need to eat lunch and what they're eating. That's one of the reasons that I love to teach writing so much to children. It's the time of the day when they're able to make some choices for themselves, and it's an opportunity to learn more about who the kids are as individuals. Choices make people feel empowered, so imagine allowing students to write what they want to write and draw what they want to draw. Let me be clear, we cannot always give students choices in writing, and I am not proposing that this is your whole writing instruction. Writing is a complex subject to teach and should be woven throughout all content areas. Writing should be seen in math and science, for example. Writing also has to be taught as its own subject area. We have to teach children how to write all the genres and how to write constructed responses. We have to teach them the conventions of writing. Like I said, writing is a complex subject to teach. And let me be clear about this as well. We cannot always give children the choice of writing what they want to write because, let's face it, we have to teach them to write correctly. Writing is a necessary skill and is in life, and it's involved in a lot of things that we do. But we can also show children how writing can be fun and engaging. The ideas I'm proposing today surrounding choice in writing can be used in a very small portion of the day or once or twice a week. These ideas can be activities for students to do when they finish work or even as a center. The ideas can be woven into choice boards as we move into the idea of UDL. So let's take a look at some choice ideas to engage our young writers. The first idea is one called the blank page. The idea is to give students a blank piece of paper and have them draw and or write about anything of their choice. It can be something that is on their mind, something fun that they did, something they like doing such as playing a sport. Really the possibilities are limitless. The paper can be blank, it can have lines, it can have space for lines and pictures. Does this sound vaguely familiar? I used to call this journal writing. I had a monthly journal for my students with a cute little cover for each month. Some years I had a journal for the whole trimester. It really just depended, depended upon what I was trying out that year. Another colleague called this free writing. The idea is really all about choice, allowing students to write what they want for a small amount of time and they'll likely enjoy it. Let them know this is not for grading, but rather for them to just be authors. It's amazing to keep these blank pages or journals over a period of time to see growth of writing skills. Another benefit of journal writing or blank page writing is that as the students are working on their writing, you can observe them. This time can give you a lot of insight into their writing abilities as well as their strengths and weaknesses. My next idea comes from the author Georgia Hurd. Her premise is that children will want to write more about things that are close to their heart. Makes sense, right? This can be done in many ways, but basically you give them a blank heart like in this picture and the students fill it up with different things that are important to them or close to their heart. Kids love to do this of all ages. They can draw, write, or do a combination of both as they complete the heart map. Students could keep this and add to it over time because let's face it, our interests change. The students would then be encouraged to write about things from their heart map. 
They can also write about one idea at a time or one idea or several days or weeks. There are so many possibilities with heart maps. They could tie together some of the things in their heart map together to create a story. I'm thinking imaginative narrative here. Students could keep a series of heart maps over the course of the year and compare and contrast things on their heart maps at different times of the year. The ideas are endless, but since they're, they are closely, closely related to their hearts and they have choice about what they share that is in their heart, there is buy-in from your students. My next choice idea isn't really all about the student choice, but more about probability. This fun idea is to get kids writing and it's called Roll a Story. It can be used in a variety of ways as well. This is a great idea for a group story, for example, where each child contributes to a portion of the story. It can also be done individually. First, you can get some dice, big, big dice, small dice, foam dice, all dice increase engagement. Then you will give them a board with some direction. Depending upon the number they roll, they include something in their story. The prompts are still somewhat open-ended, so the students have choice in the direction they go, but the dice roll gives them a focus. The storyboards can be theme-related or relate to the time of the year. Here are just a couple examples of what this could look like. Imagine the fun and creative stories students could create with these resources. Don't forget to allow the space and time for students to share their stories. I can hear the laughter now. My next idea is called interviewing a friend. Students love this. I often did this at the beginning of the school year as students got to know each other or at the end of the year as you are wrapping up the school year. You can give kids something to interview about such as science or social studies unit that you're working on or it can be related to something such as a recent field trip. This teaches students how to craft and ask specific questions that don't require just yes or no answers. Students learn to write these questions and then bring in an oral language component as students ask their questions aloud and gather responses from their friend. The choice part here is that the students are creating and writing their own questions with the motivation of interviewing their friend. Think about how fun this could be for the students. You can use microphones, you could record them, you could even have them perform their interviews for the class or parents. Of course, you have to model this strategy before having students interview each other, but this is just another idea of how to engage students in a writing process that allows them choice. My last idea today is an oldie but a goodie, and that is to create a writing center for your students. This doesn't have to be a large, elaborate area. The idea is to encourage children to write and show them that writing is infused throughout their lives. Include different types of markers, pencils, crayons, different types of paper, envelopes, stationery, staplers, hole punches, special scissors, all the things that would encourage students to be creative with their writing. Really, the sky is the limit here, but the more varied your supplies, the more interest that will be sparked with your students. Again, this is not how you teach writing to your students, but rather a way to engage them in writing and show them that writing can be fun. This can be used as a reward time, an early finisher activity, or again, part of a choice board. So there you have some fun, engaging ideas to get our little, littlest students to appreciate the joy of writing. This is not meant to be an exhaustive list of ideas at all. There are so many creative fun, and fun ideas out there to encourage students to write. I'm sure you have some great ideas of your own, and I would love to hear about them. Reach out if you have any questions or the ideas that I've sh about the ideas that I've shared with you, or if you want to collaborate on some new ideas for encouraging choice in student writing. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.